Hey guys, my name is Christian Felipe and tonight I will be showing you guys how to tie a tie. More specifically, how to tie a double Windsor knot on a necktie. Now, the double Windsor knot was the first knot that my father taught me how to tie. Probably the only knot he knew how to tie because he was in the military. But uh, the double Windsor knot was the knot that stuck with me for the longest. And I like to use it because it gives your, your necktie a triangular look which makes your tie look nice and even. So let's begin. Uh, you want to start by flipping your collar up and buttoning the top button, like so. Now I'll be standing up for this demonstration just so I can show you guys more clearly. Have your belt buckle, all your buttons. You want to start with the wide end of the tie on the right side of your body the narrow end of the tie on the left side of the body and you want to start with the narrow end about middle ways sometimes about 12 inches sometimes 10 for some ties it could even be 8 depending on how long or short they are for this tie I'll be using this button as my guide so you want to start by pulling the wide end over the narrow end like so and bringing it through the back between your collar and the tie like so keep it on on the left side like so and then bring it back behind to the right side and back through the loop but this time from the front like so this step right here is what gives your tie the triangle. Next, you want to bring the narrow end over the triangle to the left side. Next, you want to come from the back and bring it back through between the collar and the tie like so. In this step you can check how long your tie is going to be. You usually want your tie to be your tie, the end of your tie to be right on your belt buckle or right above it. You never want to cover up your belt buckle with a tie. Next you want to bring the wide end through the loop that you created like so. just like that. You can make your small adjustments here. Make sure it's a nice triangle. Last step. Bring the narrow end down while pulling up on the knot. All the way up to your neck. Like so. Now you want to put the narrow end through the loops at the back of your tie just to keep them secure. Now you want to fold down your collar and make small adjustments. I like to use tie, uh, tie pins to keep my tie in place. And there you go. The double Windsor knot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned. Uh, Hope it was helpful, you know, for, for you guys that want to learn how to tie a quick knot. Very elegant looking knot. And you can use this knot for any occasion, uh, whether you're going out to a nice restaurant or, or you go to church. And, you know, uh, very presentable knot.
thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time.